Good evening and welcome. You're watching the news track. I'm Rahul Kamal. I hope you had an absolutely smashing holy. Should Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal resign or can he continue being Chief Minister despite being in the custody of the Enforcement Directorate? What can be the potential impact of Kejriwal's arrest on the Lok Sabha elections of 2024 in the national capital? All that and more is my top focus on the news track. Kejriwal arrest showdown explodes. Aam Aadmi Party says Kejriwal will stay Chief Minister. Arvind Kejriwal ji, he Delhi ke Mukhya Mantri rahenge, chahe sarkar jail ke andar se chale, chahe sarkar deal ke bahar se chale. Fight over CM order from lockup. Can Arvind Kejriwal remain Delhi Chief Minister? Should Arvind Kejriwal resign? Big focus on news track. The Delhi Chief Minister continues to be in the lockup of the Enforcement Directorate. AAP has made it clear that Arvind Kejriwal will continue to run the government from jail. The party has claimed that Kejriwal today issued a second order to address the shortage of medicines at Mohalla clinics in the capital. ED sources though insist that the Delhi CM does not have access to government files while in custody. The BJP claims that these Kejriwal orders are forged. Can the Delhi CM continue to remain in office or should he step down like others who were arrested have done in the past? Arvind Kejriwal is running the Delhi government from ED custody, claims the Aam Party. The chief minister, who is being interrogated by the ED in liquor policy case, has issued a second order from lockup, this time directing the health department to ensure that there is no shortage of medicine in Mohalla clinics and government hospitals. CM Saab, ye jaan ke बेहद व्यथित हैं कि दिल्ली के कई अस्पतालों में और मोहल्ला क्लिनिकों के अंदर दवाइयां उपलब्ध नहीं हैं तो उन्होंने मुझे आदेश दिया है कि इसके ऊपर जल्द से जल्द उचित कदम उठाए जाएं Earlier, Delhi Minister Atishi has displayed an order by the Chief Minister to ensure proper water supply during summer months. Awani Party's claims, however, have many holes. India Today has learned that government files are barred inside ED headquarters during Kejriwal's custody. ED sources say that the agency is not aware if the Delhi Chief Minister has passed any order via his lawyer. The sources add that Kejriwal remains under CCTV surveillance and that signatures have not been obtained from him on any file. The agency is probing the possibility of leaks. The BJP has launched a scathing attack on the Amami Party government, calling the orders passed by Kejriwal illegal and unconstitutional. The opposition has rallied behind Aam Aadmi Party. जमुरियत के लिए इस तरह सिटिंग चीफ मिनिस्टर को यूं डिटेन करना इस मुल्क के लिए और इस मुल्क की जमुरियत के लिए एक अच्छी बात नहीं है लेकिन ये दौर ऐसा चल रहा है और इसका हमें मुकाबला करना है केजरीवाल इस लाइकली टू स्पेंड सम टाइम इन ईडी कस्टडी हाउ लॉन्ग कैन ही रन द गवर्नमेंट फ्रॉम लॉकअप द बिग
Politics, meanwhile, is escalating over the arrest of the Delhi Chief Minister. The Ahmadmi Party today tried to get out the Prime Minister's residence. The BJP, in turn, hit the streets demanding the resignation of Arvind Kejriwal. Here's the lowdown on how the political showdown over Kejriwal's arrest played out through the day. Arvind Kejriwal! Supporters rally around. Opposition voices hit the streets demanding he quit. Arvind Kejriwal remains steadfast. In ED custody, the Delhi Chief Minister refuses to step down from the post. This is clear that Arvind Kejriwal will remain in Delhi, whether the government will go inside or the government will go outside. Arvind Kejriwal issuing official instructions while in custody for questioning by the Enforcement Directorate. In connection with the alleged Delhi liquor scam. His first order after his arrest linked to water and sewerage issues. Aaj bhi, giraftar hone ke baad bhi, Arvind Kejriwal ji sirf Dilli walon ke baare mein soch rahe hain, Dilli walon ke kamon ke baare mein soch rahe hain, aur aaj main Arvind Kejriwal ji ki taraf se aapko ye aashwast karti hain, ke Dilli ke mukhya mantri Arvind Kejriwal bhi, आज भी दिल्ली की पूरी व्यवस्था को निगरानी में रख रहे हैं और दिल्ली वालों की देखरेख कर रहे हैं। अरविंद केजरीवाल सेकंड इंस्ट्रक्शन लिंक टू दिल्ली's हेल्थ सर्विसेज। सीएम साहब ये जान के बेहद व्यथित हैं कि दिल्ली के कई अस्पतालों में और मोहल्ला क्लिनिकों के अंदर दवाइयां उपलब्ध नहीं हैं। तो उन्ह कि इसके ऊपर जल्द से जल्द उचित कदम उठाए जाएं और ये सुनिश्चित किया जाए कि सभी अस्पतालों में मोहल्ला क्लिनिकों में सारी दवाइयां और सारे टेस्ट मुफ्त मिले और उनकी उपलब्धता कम ना हो। As investigators scrutinize the legality of these orders issued from within the ED custody. The BJP has stepped up its attack on the Ahmadmi Party and its arrested chief, accusing them of violating the custody protocols. The BJP and its supporters demanded he resign as chief minister. ED की custody में रहते हुए अरविंद केजरीवाल कोई order भी नहीं pass कर सकते और ऐसा कोई प्रवधान और ऐसी कोई statue नहीं है। इसके बावजूद अरविंद केजरीवाल जी के नाम से जो ये गलत काम किया गया है, मैंने उपराज्यपाल जी से आग्रह किया है तुरंत इसकी इंक्वायरी की जाए मुकदमा दर्ज किया जाए आतिशी जी और जो जो लोग इसमें इन्वॉल्व थे मुख्यमंत्री का ऑफिस इल्लीगल तरीके से चलाने में उसको हाईजैक करने में क्रिमिनल कॉन्स्पिरेसी में इन सब को एक्सपोज किया जाए इस दिल्ली की जनता का ये यही मांग है कि अरविंद केजरीवाल इस्तीफा दो उन्होंने न सिर्फ दिल्ली को लूटा है बल्कि दिल्ली को पानी के बिना साफ पानी के बिना सीवर के बिना दवाइयों के बिना एक जो मिनिमम गरीबों की जो जरूरत होती है उसके बिना दिल्ली को रसातल में पहुंचा दिया लोग खून के आंसू रो रहे हैं इस देश की विभिन्न कचहरियों ने जुडिशियल ऑर्डर्स में पाया है कि जांच एजेंसियों ने प्राइमा फेसी एविडेंस स्टैब्लिश कर दिया है आम आदमी पार्टी लीडर्स के खिलाफ और उसमें यह पाया गया है कि 100 करोड़ रुपए के किकबैक्स अरविंद केजरीवाल जी ने और उनकी पार्टी ने लिए हैं और वो पैसा पूरा का पूरा आम आदमी पार्टी की गतिविधियों में इस्तेमाल किया गया है with Lok Sabha elections looming, the Aam Aadmi Party, however, remains resolute, expressing unwavering solidarity with its founder, seemingly to capitalize politically on his arrest. Bureau Report, India Today. What can be the potential impact of the arrest of the Delhi Chief Minister on the Lok Sabha elections of 2024? Everyone has an opinion on this question. On India Today's news track, we'll try and answer this question using data. So just bear with me as I take you through various scenarios which uh, we've mapped uh, with the India Today Intelligence uh, Data Intelligence Unit and political analyst Amitabh Tiwari who's joining us on this broadcast. We'll try and explain how this could play out. What the first chart on your screen right now 
is the basic vote share uh, detail of the Assembly and Lok Sabha elections in Delhi going back to 2013. So AE is Assembly election, LS is the Lok Sabha election. And if you look essentially just at the last two, the Lok Sabha election of 2019 and the Assembly election of 2020, there's one thing that becomes clear. The party that wins in the Lok Sabha election, it was the BJP, which had about 57% of the votes. In the Assembly election in 2020, it was the Aam Aadmi Party, which had 54%. So in the mid-50s, is the number one party with 54 in 2020 and 57 in 2019. Even if you go back to the 2015 elections, it was 54% for the winning party, which in that case was up. The party that came in second was somewhere in the 30s. In the assembly elections of 2020, the BJP had 39% vote share. Uh, in the Lok Sabha elections of 2019, the AAP had 23% vote share. So what essentially happened, and I want to bring out the second chart on our screen right now, if we compare the shift in vote from the assembly elections to the Lok Sabha elections, there's a very important trend that becomes visible. In the 2019 Lok Sabha elections, in comparison to the 2015 assembly elections, the Aam Aadmi Party's vote share went down by 36%. Interestingly, if you come up now to 2020 versus 2019, the assembly elections versus uh, the previous uh, Lok Sabha elections, the AAP's vote share went up by 36%. So the vote share that went down by 36% went up by 36%, which essentially means that there are about 18% voters who you could call the swing voters or you know, Aap ko bhi de sakte, BJP ko bhi de sakte. When Modi is on the ticket, they give it to the BJP. When uh, it's a local election and they don't like the local BJP, they give it to the Aam Aadmi Party. So that's about 18. It becomes quite clear in terms of this trend analysis that about 18 odd percent of the voters uh, can switch on either side, which is how the Aam Aadmi Party loses 36% vote share and can gain 36% vote share conversely. Uh, now, if we were to do a conversion of different scenarios and this is where we worked with Amitabh Tiwari on this so he's mapped out uh, four different scenarios and I'll call them on the screen right now uh, if in 2024 the vote share is similar to what we saw in the last Lok Sabha election then the BJP gets seven seats like they did last time if there is no sympathy for, um, remember it's very difficult to quantify the amount of sympathy but if there is no sympathy for the Aam Aadmi Party, then the BJP again gets seven seats. If about one third of the swing voters, that is 6% of that 18, swing away from the BJP to the Aam Aadmi Party, then Delhi's scoreline becomes 5-2. Five, five for the BJP, two for the Aam Aadmi Party. Remember the political stock exchange that we did last week with Yashwan Deshmukh? Uh, and Yashwant is with us on the broadcast as well. The sea voter data showed that about 50% of the voters were sympathetic towards Kejriwal and thought what was happening was wrong. So 50% potentially could be the swing voters. If 50% of the swing voters come to uh, AAP from the BJP in a Lok Sabha context, then the AAP and the Congress combined ends up at 5 the BJP potentially ends up at 2, which means of the 18% swing voters, 9% uh, come to the Aam Aadmi Party and the Congress combined, and the AAP Congress gets 5, the BJP gets 2. If the AAP gets two-thirds of the swing voters, uh, then, that's 12 out of 18, then AAP and the Congress get 7, and the BJP gets 0. So those are different scenarios which emerge bases the level of sympathy people feel for Arvind Kejriwal, if they feel sympathy at all. Uh, do they? And what could be the impact to try and decode that? Let me introduce you to our panel uh, for this broadcast. Uh, from the ruling Bharatiya Janata Party at the centre, it's a national spokesperson, member of the Rajya Sabha, Dr. Sudan Shu Trivedi, uh, representing the Aam Aadmi Party, it's national chief spokesperson, Jasmine Shah, We've got Ashutosh, who's been with the Aam Aadmi Party, now a political analyst, uh, author. We've got Yashwan Deshmukh, founder of uh, Sea Water. And we have Amitabh Tiwari, political strategist and data cruncher. So I want to go across to Sudanshu Trivedi first, because Dr. Trivedi, you understand data well. It seemed quite clear 
before this arrest of the Delhi Chief Minister that the BJP was in a strong position in the capital. And when I asked the Home Minister this question, he said, we have more than 50% of the vote share, so it doesn't really matter even if the AAP and the Congress come together. What has happened as a result of this arrest is there is now some uncertainty about the level of sympathy. And I just played out four different scenarios about how much sympathy there may be for Kejriwal and the impact this could potentially have on the Lok Sabha elections. The question is, why do you think the BJP has taken such a risk? When you were looking strong and well-placed to bag all seven seats, why introduce this element of uncertainty where even at this moment you can't be sure about how much sympathy Kejriwal gets in the end and what impact it ultimately has on the Lok Sabha elections in the capital. Why create this uncertainty? Dr. Sudhanshu Trivedi, let's start from there. Uh, there is a, I believe that there is a certain flaw in this analysis. Okay. One point is very clear that two-third of the Aam Aadmi Party supporters categorically say that we will vote in Vidhan Sabha for Aam Aadmi Party, but in Lok Sabha we will vote for Modi ji. So one thing is very clear. Now you are just banking upon the sympathy wave. So there are two basic flaws. Sympathy wave, you are presuming that one-third, two-third, and two-third means 100% vote will swing towards which Aam Aadmi Party. But Aam Aadmi Party is not fighting alone. It is fighting in coalition with Congress. So that vote will also transfer to Congress Party. I think it is too presumptuous. It is too much presumption. The other presumption can be, now my second point is, there can be a deceit swing. Because today for the first time, the people of Delhi will be thinking that, oh, just a decade back we were witnessing that these were the people who were saying uh, India against corruption. Those who were saying, Sari Sansat Chor hai. Those who were uh, taking the pledge that they will uproot the corruption of the Congress. Now they are joining hand with the Congress and they would have never imagined that those who have claimed that the moment delegation is there, the person has to resign. Now they are working from uh, uh, under the custody. He has gone one step ahead than Lalu Prasad Yadav, even more than Heman Soren. So there can be a swing, which you are saying the so-called sympathy. There can be a swing, so-called apathy. Now they have been totally exposed for the first time Aam Aadmi Party is going election when they are shoulder in shoulder with Dalu Prasad Yadav, with uh, Mulayam Singh Yadav's party, with Congress party, the DMK parties, those who have gone in jail much before BJP came into power. Ye Mulayam Singh Mayavati Ji pe case kab huye the? Ye Karuna Nidhi jail kab gaye the? Ye batayye Congress ke netaon ke upar from the time of... Uh, uh, P.V. Narasimha okay. Rao and uh, Rajiv Gandhi is coming. So I think if you want to analyze, have a proper 360 degree analysis, not just one analysis that is presumptuously basing, basing uh, on the base that only Aam Aadmi Party gets sympathy and the other way cannot be, uh, other way around cannot be possible. Okay, so you make two important points and I want Jasmine Shah to respond. One, the transferability of votes uh, between a Lok Sabha and Assembly elections, between AAP and BJP is very high. That we've already seen, which is how you go down 36% in one election and you go up 36% in the next election. But Sudhanshu Trivedi makes an important point that a BJP voter in a Lok Sabha context may be willing to vote for AAP in an Assembly context, which is why Kejriwal in the AAP also said, Nafrat nahi, not no Nafrat towards the BJP. He says, because you are now in alliance with the Congress, it doesn't mean that that sympathy will get transferred to the Congress because the Congress is viewed differently. So that's point number one. Point number two, he argues that some of the moral halo on the issue of corruption that Kejriwal had, that moral halo now gets badly diminished because Jailalita stepped away, Heman Soren stepped away. So Danshu Trivedi and the BJP will say, others who are known to be corrupt stepped away, look at Kejriwal, he is so incorrigible, despite being arrested, he refuses to step down. He says it could have a repel factor, forget sympathy, AAP could lose even below where they are. Rahul, um, let me just first state that uh, the analysis of Mr. Sudhanshu Trivedi, that uh, you know what is going to happen and whether this vote is going to stay with BJP or not, is extremely flawed. Uh, because the presumption that there is anger amongst the people, yes, there is a lot of anger, but the anger is not at AAP, it is at the BJP. And there's a very simple reason. We are witnessing today's scenes in the national capital which are unprecedented in Indian history. A sitting chief minister put behind bars, 
in a completely sham uh, case, in a sham scam, in which for two years the investigation is going on, not a single iota of evidence or money recovery, and where the trial has not begun. And, you know, mind you, this is, this is bubbling up for the last one, one and a half years because we've had senior leaders like Mr. Sisodia who are in jail for more than a year. So the people of the country are witnessing, possibly for the first time, where very top political leaders of a national party are put behind bars in a case where the trial hasn't even begun. And people are not fools. They can make out justice from injustice. In which part of the world are the most, uh, uh, you know, senior leaders of political opposition put in a jail for years together and you don't even begin a trial. And now you have put Mr. Kejriwal uh, inside jail and on whose statement? The statement of a liquor, uh, consp the kingpin of the so-called liquor scam called Sharat Reddy, who turns out as per the electoral bond data on Election Commission website, which your uh, viewers can check, that Sharat Chandra Reddy happens to be one of the big donors of the BJP. After being arrested by the ED, it turns out that earlier he, he said that he did not know Mr. Kishore. You want to respond but to this, Sulanchu Trivedi, before I go across to the other guest. The bail, gentleman who runs Aurobindo Pharma, who's also one of the key accused seconds. in this case, who later turned approver, his uh, data for electoral bonds suggests that after his arrest, the bonds that he's bought are all for the BJP. Now, that's the point that Rahul Gandhi and Arvind Kejriwal earlier and now Jasmine Shah are making, that once they turn approver or they get arrested, they seem to largely be buying bonds only for the Bharati Janata Party, Dr. Sudhan Chutrivedi. Uh, again, I would like to say, since the literacy rate is very high in Delhi, the people can understand the electoral bond is issued by the companies, not by the individual. And anybody knows that any company is not just the sole control of one individual. So it is the company which has given, but also people Sir, will but the proprietor runs the company. It's a proprietor run company. Stand against the... I'll, hey, let it's complete. a promoter. It's a promoter let run company. Sentence, sir. Let me complete the sentence. Are bhai, let, let me complete okay. the sentence. Public also understands that those who are taking such a strident stand against electoral bonds are accepting electoral bonds on their own. Congress 1,461 crores. Tranmool Congress 1,600 crores. BJP has got 6,000 something hundred crores out of 20,000 crores is 30% of the total bond despite having 17 state governments and twice the central government. And Congress, which is having three state government, has got 1,461. So as per your allegation, BJP ko to dhamka ke mila hai. Aur Congress ko to aise hi shraddha bhao se mila hai. And the 1,600 tours by Tramul Congress, ko bhi shraddha bhao se mila hai. And they are taking a stand, but not divulging from whom they got. And neither they are getting clear-cut statement that we were against, still we got, we want to return, and we want to tell the statement. This sheer hypocrisy comes in contrast with the statement and one more thing. Amal now I would like to make a quick response. Okay, very quick response, Jasmine back. Shah, because I want to stick every, largely every to the data. I don't want to make it will, political because sentence. then it becomes two two men and then no. Yes, Sudhanshu ji, one, one sentence before no, no, Jasmine Shah. I'll just stick to this. Just one second. Yes. One sentence. Aam Admi Party has taken a stand that they will publish each and every data of their donations several years back. And suddenly they have stopped publishing on the website because certain companies were found, they were created in the air night and they have given the donation to the Amadmi party and disappeared the next day. Okay. So Just that's why those who have taken a stand that we will every day publish the data, now they are gaya. Jasmine. It, it, it is extremely sad and I would say funny that Mr. Trivedi repeats an argument from 2014 when the entire investigation was in their hand. They should have arrested many of these so-called fake companies if they have donated to up. Obviously, he has nothing more to say. I want to make only one statement, Rahul, that today the, the uh, entire this fake scam and the way it has unraveled, Today, we are not seeing an outpouring of sympathy. We are seeing a tsunami of sympathy for Mr. Kejriwal. You know, many people liked Modi even in Delhi, obviously, because it's a huge voter swing that like you showed. But many of these people also like Kejriwal. And to see this kind of a blatant abuse of power, people are now saying, even BJP, strong BJP supporters are calling us and saying, that now Modi ji ke upar ankush lagana hoga. Enough okay. is enough. No, that's you a rhetorical point. That's not based on data. That's based on the assumptions. So let me go like across to Amitabh Tiwari. And I just want to play out uh, the scenarios on the screen. So, uh, Amitabh Tiwari, you've mapped out these multiple scenarios with our data intelligence unit. Now, 
which of these do you think are most likely to come true on the 4th of June? Because if one third of the swing voters come towards up from BJP up and Congress get two, BJP gets five. Half come, then up and Congress get five, BJP gets two. And then if all, if two thirds come, then the alliance gets seven. But respond also to the point that Sudhanshu Trivedi made, which is that there is transferability. The data clearly shows. Just go back to the previous chart. The transferability of votes is between BJP for Lok Sabha and Aam Aadmi Party for Assembly. It doesn't necessarily mean that some BJP voter who's willing to vote for Kejriwal in the Assembly will also vote for uh, Rahul Gandhi and the Congress. So therefore, the transferability may not be as simplistic as your four scenarios may suggest. Amitabh Tiwari. See, essentially, Sudhanshu ji makes, makes uh, two very valid points. One is that we have assumed that there is uh, only sympathy for Aam Aadmi Party. But the first scenario itself is shows that what happens in case there is no sympathy. So that is a 7-0 sweep for the BJP. What happens in case there is apathy? So it cannot be more than seven seats, correct? So it, it, it will be the same, 7-0. Now, when we come to the transferability between BJP, uh, sorry, uh, Aam Aadmi Party and Congress, we have to remember a fact that today, the entire vote share of the, of the Aam Aadmi Party is at the expense of the Congress Party in, in Delhi. It, it, it has gained at the expense of Congress Party. And the vote swings are not only happening between BJP and AAP. If you see, if you see that figure, the 36% which uh, Aam Aadmi Party gained in 2020 is almost equally at the expense of BJP and Congress 1818. And Congress gained 13% vote share at the expense of Aam Aadmi Party in 2019 Lok Sabha elections. So that's what is there. So in your political stock exchange itself, it says that 52% voters feel that there could be sympathy. Out of that, 35% of NDA voters also feel that there could be sympathy. So that means one third. So one third of 18% is 6% vote share. And that I feel is the first case, which is 5-2 in favor of the BJP. Seems like more plausible because it's a national election and not a Vidhan Sabha election. It will have a larger impact maybe in the Vidhan Sabha election. So you're saying the most probable is that one third of the voters may swing. That makes it 5-2 uh, and not 7-0. But why should the BJP even run the risk of losing those two seats? Ashutosh, uh, this question of uh, sympathy, I think Amitabh Tiwari responds well, saying, you know, even if there is an adverse impact, BJP can't get any more than seven. They already have seven. So the only question is, do they lose? Given how this is playing out and from your sense of the street, you've also fought an election in Delhi. Is there sympathy at the moment for the Aam Aadmi Party in the capital? Could they benefit? Or because it's a Lok Sabha election, any potential benefit will be so little that it won't materially impact the final scoreline? You're on mute, Ashutosh. You're on mute, Ashutosh. Rahul Arvind Kejriwal is hugely popular in Delhi. There is no doubt about it. But uh, there, there, uh, and there can be sympathy for Arvind Kejriwal. But it depends on the two factors. One, how strong is the Aam Aadmi Party on the ground? Whether they got the cadre, and secondly, whether they got the leadership. If the if the leadership is politically inclined and can connect uh, the issue with the with the cadre, and the cadre can connect with the people, and then a momentum can be created. Sometimes what happens there is a, there is a ground level murmuring, but if the leader is unable to exploit that sentiment, then whether there is a sympathy or not sympathy doesn't translate into the votes. The problem with Aam Aadmi Party today is that the two of their stalwarts who could have really made a lot of difference like Manish Sisodia and Sanjay Singh and who are very clued in with the, with, the, with, the, with the street politics. Unfortunately, they are inside the jail. So what I see is the possibility of the sympathy converting in hugely into vote. I have my own doubts. Second point is, I think the one, one question which the Aam Aadmi Party has to really answer is why Arvind Kejriwal is not resigning and why he has not uh, responded to earlier to the to, to the summons. And the BJP has cleverly, cleverly, the ED has cleverly and cleverly uh, set the agenda that we were trying to pursue Arvind Kejriwal from the day one, but he has been avoiding and running away from the interrogation. And BJP is very strong on the ground, especially in Delhi, despite losing assembly election consistently. But when I map up the, the percentage of votes, BJP right now is sitting on more than 36% vote share in assembly in assembly elections, 
despite losing badly and in the in in mcd elections their vote share is something around 39% so bjp is very strong with this with the strong organizational muscle power bjp is in a position to counter aam aadmi party's propaganda and the sympathy factor so it all depends on how their leader let jasmine shah respond to this very important point that ashutosh makes one that because he avoided nine summons kejriwal loses whatever moral support he may have got because people say but you know when the ed summons you the chief minister should have gone and presented himself like everyone else did so that's point 1 point 2 that the bjp has strong ground support this is a lok sabha election and therefore what may play in an assembly election doesn't necessarily pan out in the same way in a lok sabha context jasmine shah rahul i am uh... sorry that ashutosh has a poor memory because mr kejriwal did not skip the summons he responded to each and every summons and he questioned the legality of the summons and what happened after that is very interesting because probably some of your viewers may have forgotten that ed actually approached the court to prove the fact that its summons were illegal uh, were legal but it did not get any relief from the court the court said that we will hear the matter the court did not give any immediate orders for mr kejriwal to appear in front of ed and the matter was sub judice but just because ed ran out of patience ed on the directions of bjp knew that lok sabha elections were approaching they went ahead and arrested kejriwal why because i have the powers to arrest you i'll go ahead and arrest you so the point is it is not us disrespecting law ed did not respect law and due process the matter was in courts but they did not wait for it and it basically calls out the bluff what have we been saying from the beginning that the purpose of ed was never to investigate if its purpose was to investigate then it would have investigated him for hours what was the reason to arrest him you could have asked him questions one day two day three days you keep answering uh, he never said that i'll not answer questions okay but what does ed do goes in the middle of the night spends two hours rahul and then goes and arrest him so basically it is a premeditated decision which we have been claiming from the very beginning ki inka maqsad arrest karna hi tha okay. which ed proved by itself uh, yashwan deshmukh i want to call up that data that c voter did for the political stock exchange on the level of sympathy because everyone has an opinion on whether there is sympathy take our viewers through your interpretation of the data a simple reading of the c voter data on whether aap will get sympathy votes after kejriwal's arrest seems to suggest that 50% say yes uh, 35% of nda voters also say yes this is not about whether they will change their opinion they are asked do you think that there will be sympathy votes 50% are saying yes uh 35% of nda voters are saying yes so do you think how because this is about a general perception it's not about whether you will change your mind it's a general do you think there'll be sympathy 52% are saying yes how how do you correlate this to the scenario mapping that amitabh tiwari did and his assessment that 52 is now more likely than 70 if one third of the of the swing voter switches from bjp to the alliance Well, yes, Amitabh makes sense when he says that uh, the the scenario two is a probability. If those people who are saying that Kejriwal will get sympathy vote among the NDA swing votes, you know, that's one third of the eighteen percent, which is rightly calculated. You know, that is a possibility of a five two. There are three things, uh, Rahul, to understand. Is there a sympathy? Yes, there is a sympathy. Can this sympathy turn into a vote swing? Yes, this sympathy can turn into a vote swing from Aam Aadmi Party. Will this sympathy turn into a vote swing in the Lok Sabha election? I doubt. I highly doubt. Then this is where I agree with Ashutosh. Not just because of that thirty-five percent base vote of the BJP, that Aam Aadmi Party's base vote is only about twenty percent. I mean, if you look into that way, BJP's base vote is roughly about thirty percent. and then there is a 20% vote block which is absolutely anti bjp and 20% vote block which is anti congress in this uh, in the national capital so depending on which election it is that vote block swings from aam aadmi party to the bjp this way or that way in the assembly and the lok sabha election so the question is will that one third sympathizer will go against mr modi in a lok sabha election and vote for arvind kejriwal that is a question will they do that in an assembly election definitely as yes, they will do we have seen much more and they might probably do it more aggressively in the assembly election so in a in a you know longer and the shorter perspective of the politics i think in the local politics arvind kejriwal definitely will might emerge stronger 
you know, in that way due to the sympathy gained by this thing depends. I mean, a week is a long time in politics. It also depends. What Ashtosh mentioned, I actually agree on that. Another point is about the cadre on the ground, Rahul. It is very important to keep the cadre intact during the crisis. Can they keep their cadre intact or if their vote is more because people in Delhi want to defeat BJP in the assembly and people in the um, uh, Delhi want to defeat the Congress in the Lok Sabha. If that kind of a swing is there, then it will eventually come down to the question, can the cadre remain intact? Do they have that kind of a cadre? That is Ashutosh, from your prism, will the AAP cadre stay united if Kejriwal is in jail? Can the likes of Jasmine Shah, Atishi, Saurabh Bhardwaj hold the AAP together or are they likely to fragment? Uh, I will not say that it's going to fragment, but this is going to be very, very tough. We're keeping the momentum of the cadre for a very long time is going to be very, very difficult. Why I'm saying so? Because Arvind Kejriwal, it doesn't look like that he's going to get bail so soon. Uh, look at Manish Sishodhya, almost 13 months. Sanjay Singh, almost six months. So to, cre to keep the momentum up for that for such a long time will be difficult. Even uh, till the polling in, in, in Delhi happens, even that will be difficult. So my point is that organizationally on the ground, BJP is much stronger than the BJP. And also and remember, Jasmine Shah, that Delhi goes to vote in the sixth phase on the 25th of May. We're only towards the end of March. We have to sustain all of Ma all of April, all of May. So there are two full months. You have to stretch this out. It's not as if Delhi goes to polls in the initial periods. It goes to polls in the sixth phase on the 25th of May. By then, some of the sympathy may dissipate. Rahul, I think, uh, let me give, share my ground perspective because we have a lot of data, but, uh, you know, very few uh, narratives from the ground. What has really happened over the last few days is that old volunteers, you know, there are people who maybe were earlier active and inactive uh, after that, old volunteers are now coming together. Today we had volunteer meetings in all the 70 Vidhan Sabhas. People were in tears. They never expected that this is the kind of a hammer with which a popular prime minister of the country will come down on their beloved leader. So reverse of all the predictions, this is actually uniting the cadre. And I would say it's uniting the public mood against uh, uh, Mr. Modi because, you know, Mr. Kejriwal is an immensely popular leader. The second point is that, you know, Aam Aadmi Party has always had a distributed leadership in Delhi. We have 62 out of the 70 MLAs. Many of them are two-time that, and three-time MLAs. That's not necessarily true. So AAP is a very centralized is party, as is... Oh, one second, Jasmine, Chal, let's not get carried away. AAP is, no now, matter what you say, largely a, centralized largely, party. But, okay, okay let, let me go across to Sudanshu Trivedi on the point that you're making, that people who are very passionate about the AAP when it was a movement, and became inactive when it became a political power party with all the trappings of power, are now feeling very bad that Kejriwal has been arrested and therefore are coming back. So far from fragmentation, the arrest of Arvind Kejriwal could galvanize the party card and bring back the old karikartas and volunteers who are no longer quite as active, which could be a headache for the BJP if it happens. So Danshu Trivedi. Rahul, the picture could have been more clear if the survey would have been done that uh, one sympathy wave, another is. Does people consider Kejriwal as honest as he, were, he became for the first time in 2013? I will give you an example. Jaise ek ladka nakal karte huye pakal diya jaye. To agar usko expel kar diya gaya, to kisi ko sympathy ho sakti hai, bhai, thik hai, ek paper ke liye expel kar dete, pura saal nahi barbaad hona chahiye tha. But it doesn't mean that sympathy will take him to become the president of the student union. So I think the convertibility which Yashwan Deshmukh was saying is has to be taken care of. And politically, I will say, if Aam Admi Party would have an iota of confidence, then there was no need of doing Sashtang Dandavat in front of Congress. This shows that though they have, as Tiwari ji has said, that all the vote has shifted from Congress to them, it means they were having very low confidence that they will be able to take all together. And third point, which Rahul, you have said, it's two months. I am uh, having an opinion that constitutionally, legally, it may be very difficult for Kejriwal to continue for two months from prison in uh, continuing as chief minister. Okay. And then what will be the option? There will be two options. He has to give baton to anybody else. 
देन कहीं ऐसा ना हो वो आपदा में अवसर ढूंढने लगे एंड इफ ही डिसाइड टू गिव द बैटन टू हिज वाइफ then he will be another example of lalu prasad yadav ji so okay. there will be now you're bowling a googly uh, let jasmine shah respond to this one, once again this sunita kejriwal arvind no, no, kejriwal one more thing sir one one ashutosh ji has said acha boli sudhan ji boli boli one sentence Anji. ashutosh ji ne kaha us pe bhi main kehna chahta hu there would have been a time when they were having the battery of leaders and cadder agar aaj ko wo hoti jisme shanti bhushan prashant bhushan yogendra yadav ashutosh deep kumar vishwas kiran bedi jaise log hote they would have created an atmosphere now the same party who has in the constitution that they will not remain more than one term and his presidents in 12 years and also the party chief minister are so you sending ashutosh back to up are you telling him get off tv go back to the streets okay that's a open invitation ashutosh no, no, no. sir pakad ke baitha bola re badi mushkil se to chuta wapas bhej raha capable persons were there who were creating capable of creating okay no jasmine shah this no, sunita no. kejriwal googly wo to, wo to. because suddenly she is emerged from the shadows she is the one sitting on the table of the chief minister with bhagwan singh ambedkar ji at the back uh, making these statements is she likely to because the big theory in bjp circles is that if kejriwal has to choose somebody else as chief minister he'll choose his wife is that correct rahul i think you forgot a word it's not in bjp circles but in bjp troll army that is the narrative that they are trying to seed and just look at it a uh, mrs sunita kejriwal at the you know it it was a very emotional 2 uh, to 3 minute pc that uh, you know she addressed the media and read out a statement from mr kejriwal the entire bjp empire is rattled like anything they cannot take it they are the abused by the bjp troll army and you know on your national show mr sudanshu trivedi saying it just shows that how much do they fear an honest educated woman talking about her uh, husband and you know this shows the mindset no, of you the bjp you are answering my question anything. i'm asking you a direct question are the you denying other point, no no what no, no, is answer the question and straight are you denying absolutely. that even after the 31st of march sunita kejriwal will not be the replacement for arvind kejriwal if he has to choose a replacement it is shocking rahul that you would even think of it as a question because i respect your uh, political understanding of the scenario and you you very well understand the principles by which the aam aadmi party was founded so uh, yes it's an absolute denial and this is nothing but a very low level initiative seeded by the bjp troll army and it seems He's like calling it a low level initiative no of the bjp army and it's very funny Ashutosh, today you that understand kejriwal's mind well you worked with him troll if army. he has to choose who is he most likely to choose to be his replacement if it comes down to that ashutosh uh rao let me let me answer it differently i think it, the, the situation is so precariously poised in delhi that who blinks first whether arvind kejriwal resigns as a chief minister or the uh, the the modi government sacks the invokes article 350 and sacks the delhi government arvind kejriwal if i know him well um I'm, it's almost more than six years. He would like Delhi God. He would like Modi government to invoke Article three fifty six and sack the government and impose uh, a president rule in Delhi. And he is trying to precipitate situation to that point. Now it's up to the Delhi. It's up to the Modi government whether he blinks or not. If he had to choose, who do you think is most likely to choose? Who uh, uh, about Arvind Kejriwal? If Kejriwal had to choose a replacement while he's in jail between Jasmine Shah, Saurabh Bhardwaj, Atishi, and the others who are available, and Sunita Kejriwal, no. Jasmine says that's impossible. Who do you think is most likely, Ashutosh? I I I, I don't think Arvind Kejriwal is thinking on those lines, and he is he's such a such a formidable leader for the simple reason because he always thinks out of the box, and any leader would have resigned before going to the jail. He did not do that. He is forcing the Delhi, the, the Modi government to sack the uh, sack Delhi government. So he okay. wants the president to. Sudan Shu Trivedi so is the BJP in favour of imposition of president's rule in the capital? That's the next question. We have not put a uh, misused Article three fifty seven, three fifty six any time in the last ten years. Can you quote any example other than Kashmir, which was required? because there was no government for the able to form after we withdraw support but one more thing on jasmine shah ji system no no one second let me ask you a straight question are you saying there is no question of sir, article 356 being imposed are you saying there is no question of president's rule being imposed sadanshu trivedi i i uh, what uh, 
what I think that if a constitutional crisis comes and he has to resign and he is not resigning, in my opinion, at the time LG so can just ask five seconds. Amadmi Party to elect a new leader. Then if they say that we will not elect a new leader, we will stick to that, then the situation will be totally different in the moral paradigm. But on the Jasmine Shaji's statement, I would like to say, Rao, sir, can I, can I the low-level politics question. has been started by Kejriwal Ji. Why he unnecessarily... I would like to respond. His family members like in to respond on this He has almost read out the script of what he is going to do. He will take the script of what he is going to do. Right now, you are saying that he is bringing his wife. So I think he should uphold the dignity of his family members and do not put okay. unnecessary... Okay, like, so Ashutosh has a 10-second no point politics. to make. Ashutosh, go on. It is his habit to bring his family members in politics. Let me ask a simple straight question to Sudan Shutravedi. A chief minister is running government from the jail. Is it not a breakdown of the constitutional machinery? Obviously, Sudan? a time may come when this will be considered as the breakdown of the constitutional machinery. But in the constitution, like there to... is an option that like the respond, governor please. should look for an alternative uh, government also. So it so, will be incumbent of the part of the Ahmadi party to say that they are ready to give the alternative government or not. And okay. if, if so, so, so I can, so I can then it will not be a sacrifice. LG, Rahul, quick response. So then it will be that you will be exposed. Uh, Sudan, so I can understand that the LG will be sending a message to the assembly asking the assembly to elect a new leader. And if assembly doesn't do that, then? Then he told you he'll impose president's rule. Both the other. No, no, sir. That's, that's what our, that's no, 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 no. Sunia, Sunia. Sunia. एक मिनट वन वन टेक्निकल पॉइंट आज आज जी आपको शायद पता नहीं है दी दिल्ली असेंबली नेवर साइंस डाई इट इज परपिचुअल इन सेशन बिकॉज आम आदमी पार्टी वांट टू मिस यूज ओके सो एट द टाइम द ओनर्स विल बी ऑन द स्पीकर नॉट ऑन द एल जी ओके सो रनिंग आउट ऑफ टाइम वेरी क्विकली Jasmine wants Both to make a quick final that, point. Uh, Jasmine, Shah, ten Rani seconds because I also want to give Amitabh and Yashwant another opportunity. Jasmine, final words very quickly, please. I, I, yes, I want to actually state what is the definition of a constitutional breakdown of machinery. It is when a prime minister goes ahead and imprisons a sitting chief minister without any case, without any trial, without any iota of evidence. And therefore, by the same logic of Sudhan Trivedi, the president should actually, should have dismissed, uh, uh, you know, the uh, Mr. Modi's government. Now that elections are happening, anyways, he cannot. But they can still say that it is the prime minister okay. who is okay. leading to a constitutional so, now, breakdown. By Amitabh this Tiwari, time very quickly, when we were discussing yes. sympathy, also factor in the time lag factor. This arrest has happened in March. Delhi votes only towards the end of May. So that two months to go. Could the sympathy dissipate in these two months along with the heat? See, the issue is not the issue is not going to die down because the ball is now in BJP's court. BJP has to take action. Arvind Kejriwal is not going to resign. If BJP takes any action, it could even generate further sympathy for Arvind Kejriwal. See, he has timed it very it very well. He has timed it very well. The nine summons he has missed, he has timed it just before the uh, Lok Sabha elections. And we have to also remember... Yashwan, he's giving you homework for your next PSC. Should there be president's rule? Uh, will the sympathy hold for two months? I can already see a lot of questions coming in my head. And we'll work those out, Yashwan, for the next edition of the political stock exchange. Final words, Yashwan Deshmukh. Absolutely, Rahul. And thanks for all these questions, because that is precisely what we are going to ask and come back in the next edition of PSC. While we are uh, discussing that there is one final point which Rahul probably we need some legal expert to weigh in on that. I have been told by somebody who knows the matter that this case is very different from other political cases that are going on because probably this is one of those cases where a party is also made a party to the case. Uh, you know, am I making sense to you? Yes. It's the structure and the party of the is, is okay. a party in the case. So I'm out of time. Happens, that is an entirely different legal domain and then a lot will depend what the court says and does. So we've had a high quality discussion based on data, looking at trends in the past, extrapolating into one the sentence, future. One couplet, can I say? Chaliye, couplet hai to share kar dijiye, Arz, lekin vakt khata ho gaya hai, sir. Farmai hai. Wo mein pehle bhi bol chuka hu, mein dubara bolna chahta hu, jo aap keh rahe hai ki sympathy hogi, uski wajah hai, dilli ki janta ye bhi so sakti hai, जो मैंने कहा था रिपीट कर देता हूं बड़े मासूम लगते थे मेरे सनम क्या से क्या हो गए देखते देखते 
जिनको पत्थर से हमने बनाया सनम वो खुदा हो गए देखते देखते दैट खुड चेंज जैसमिन शाह आप जवाब दे सकते हो ओनली इफ यू हैव अ कपलेट इफ यू हैव अ कपलेट यू कैन थ्रो बैक एट हिम आई गिव यू ट्वेंटी सेकेंड कपलेट का जवाब कपलेट से दो बंदा में ब्रेक लिया है कपलेट जैसमिन शाह कपलेट का कपलेट का जवाब है कि ये मोदी जी पे लागू होती है मैं इतना ही कहूंगा ओके ओके दैट्स फाइन आशुतोष यू हैव समथिंग एनी कपलेट टू एंड विद विच डिस्क्राइब दिस होल सिनारियो तो एक लाइन और बोल दो सुनिए इन्होंने जो कहा तो एक लाइन और बोल दो राहुल जी आम आदमी पार्टी के लिए एक और बोल देता हूँ दे हैव डन एन अरेंजमेंट विद कांग्रेस एक सेकंड एक सेकंड एक सेकंड वन वन बाय वन सुधांशु फर्स्ट आशुतोष ओके आशुतोष फर्स्ट सुधांशु सेकंड ओके क्विकली आशुतोष बोलिए माना कि तगाफल न करोगे तुम लेकिन खाक हो जाएंगे हम तुमको खबर होने तक क्या बात वेरी नाइस सुधांशु जी एंड लास्ट लाइन जो इन्होंने अलायंस किया है तो उस पर कहना चाहता हूं आम आदमी पार्टी के लिए शाम तक सुबह की नजरों से उतर जाते हैं इस कदर समझौतों पे जीते हैं कि जमीर ही मर जाते हैं वाह क्या बात है बहुत खूब अब तो ऐसे अलग अड्डा करना पड़ेगा वी हैव टू सिट टुगेदर इन द इवनिंग एंड डू अ सेपरेट अड्डा पॉलिटिकल अड्डा थैंक यू सो मच फॉर लाइटनिंग अप द न्यूज ट्रैक डिस्कशन विद योर डेटा योर इनसाइट्स एंड ऑल्सो द शेर ऑफ शायरी द स्टॉम ऑफ अ कांग्रेस लीडर सुप्रिया शिंदे इट्स सेक्सिस लर अगेंस्ट कंगना रन ऑथ रेज इज ऑन सुप्रिया हैज डिलीटेड हर ऑब्जेक्शनेबल पोस्ट एंड सेड दैट दिस वाज शेयर्ड बाय समवन इन हर टीम हु हैड एक्सेस टू हर अकाउंट कंगना रन ऑथ स्पोकन आउट सेइंग शी वाज pain by the attack on her she is currently meeting bjp chief jp nadda at his residence in the capital and we'll have those pictures out for you as soon as this meeting begins this is where we wrap up the new stack tonight for your time and your trust thank you very much and look forward to seeing you at 8 pm tomorrow till then from all of us here on the new stack team bye bye <laughs>